Hello, this is Joe with Joe's Astrophoto.com, and today we're going to be talking about the ZWO ASI 294MM Pro new camera I just got. I'd like to review it and compare it with the ASI 1600. So the 1600's been a really good camera for me. I haven't had any complaints about it other than the micro lensing issues. Unfortunately though, the micro lensing issues are huge. They're, they're huge. I, once you start to see um, the effect it leaves, you just can't unsee it anymore. And um, as much as I like this camera, I think that the new 294mm Pro is going to be worth the upgrade. So the reason that I got the 294 over the new upcoming 2600 is for a variety of reasons. One, I've actually got to use the 294 so I know how it reacts and how it works because um, Glenn let me use his, which is really nice. Uh, the, the starburst that it leaves in the lights is, is a little troublesome, but it calibrated right out. I had no issues, so that's, that's really not going to be an issue for me either. And there's amp glow in the 1600. It just doesn't starburst. But um, it, it gets some two big blotches on the side. I'll put up a picture for you to look at. Um, the other thing about the, the 294mm Pro is it is exactly the same sensor size. Well, not exactly the same, but it's a four-thirds micro sensor size, just like this is. Um, I'm able to use my existing one and a quarter inch filters, uh, my existing filter wheel, and really, Theoretically, this should be plug and play. I am going to uns I unscrewed this camera. I put this on. I'm not going to mess with the back focus. I'm going to check some subs and see what they look like. I mean, I might have to mess with the back focus, but I hope not. So let's first compare the 294 to the 1600. The resolution is a little bit smaller when it's in um, bin 2 mode. The format's the same. And the reason that the resolution is a little bit smaller is because of the larger pixel size in bin 2 mode. The ADC is 14 bits though on the 294, which is a really big deal compared to the 12 bits of the 1600. Unfortunately, when you put this into bin 1 mode, your ADC drops down to 12 bits as well. One of the things that stands out the most to me in this chart taken from the ZWO website, is the full well and the quantum efficiency peak. The full well on the 294 is 66 KE, while the 1600 is only 20 KE. That means that you're going to be able to fill up your pixels with a lot more photons, almost or over three times the amount of photons, which means that you can take longer exposures and with the quantum efficiency peak of 90% compared to 60%, you're going to fill that well faster. Another small improvement is the dynamic range is 13 stops with the 294 as opposed to the 12.5 stops with the 1600. Now usually you're going to use a unity gain in the 294 it's 120 and that will actually drop your dynamic range a little. However, with the 1600, the unity gain was 139, and that dropped the dynamic range even further. So looking at these two charts, it confirms what I said. With the 294 on the left and the 1600 on the right, at unity gain of 120 for the 294, you're looking at a full well of over 10,000. With the unity gain of 139 for the 1600, it falls around 5,000 to 6,000 range. So you're getting almost double 
um, of the full well capacity, even at Unity Gain. Additionally, you'll notice that the DR stops on the 294 actually go up at Unity Gain and sit around 13 dynamic range stops, while on the 1600, you're somewhere between 11 and 12. Now let's switch the 294 to the unlock bin win mode, and you'll notice that in comparison with the 1600, the charts almost look identical. They're very, very similar at unity gain for both cameras. However, your max resolution for the 294 is going to be massive compared to the 1600. Now let's take a look at the quantum efficiency graph between the 294 and the 1600. You'll notice that right around um, the 656 and 657 nanometer wavelength, which is um, the HA wavelength um, for narrowband, the 1600 was right about 50%, while the 294 is reaching 80%. Now, oddly enough, um, the new 2600 MM Pro that's coming out soon um, According to their graph, the quantum efficiency in that wavelength area is only 55%. So let's take a look at a single sub. This is a five minute sub with the 294 that I took last night of the California Nebula. You can see that there's the telltale starburst amp glow from the 294. You can see it in the image at the upper right hand corner. Now let's take a look at a five minute dark exposure. Again, you'll notice the exact same um, starburst that you saw in the light. Here's an image at 10 minutes as well. You could see that the starburst is much more pronounced in this 10 minute dark frame. And here you'll see that the starburst is completely missing out of the final image after calibration. Um, this image was taken um, in just three hours with 12 subs each of sulfur, hydrogen, and oxygen. As usual, I hope you found this video useful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because it really does help. And we'll see you in the next video.